Hello there, I'm Samuel, and I'm with Jonathan. Hey, in our last video, we showed you guys how to make text, how to make that text bold, italic, and how to make headings. Now, we told you not to use headings to change the size of your text. We're going to show you how to change the size in a minute. But we told you that because it'll mess around with the search engines. Now, the reason it's going to mess around is that it's going to think the heading is a... Well, it's going to think the text you're making bigger is a heading when it's not. Now, Sam is going to show you an example. Alright, so you see here I search for random stuff. Well, I mean, yeah, I pretty much search for random stuff. Um, now you see this would be the heading, well, the title of the page, okay? And um, this would be the paragraph for all the text. If you put the paragraph and you decided to change the size of it with headings, well, it's going to think that the title of the page is this well your text is this pretty much so other than just having random stuff as title you're gonna have the whole thing right here as title and your page will most likely not get searched but yeah that's pretty much it um and it really looks unprofessional when well you land on, on a page and it's just like well like this um now we're going to proceed to the video, okay? If you don't remember, you right click, open with, and then notepad. Um, there you go, all your, all your codes. Alright, first of all, we're, we're going to show you um, how to do sizes to your text. Well, I'll just go paragraph, space. Well, after your uh, tag, well, the P, you do a space, then style. Equal, then uh, font, dash, size. Then colon. And then, for example, um, I'm going to go with... Uh, 30 pixel because we're working in pixels okay um now just end it with the angle bracket and then uh, say this text or oh, well at least yeah this is our first video uh, I mean second video okay and then as usual close with a slash and then save it not save as just save it and then when you open your uh, well your file you're gonna see that you have another thing now in um, well in uh, in 30 pixels uh, now you could have ended it with a uh, semicolon but Joe's gonna tell you why um, semicolons here are used to add in a second thing if you want to make it 30 pixels and red well then you would have to put a semicolon in the middle now, if you want to, after everything to remember, you can always put a semicolon, but it's not required. Okay, um, now we're going to show you how to um, do uh, background colors. So go again with style, and then background dash color. Then colon, and then uh, choose whatever color you want. I'm going to go with uh, red in this case. Now close with dash again. You, you're not really you don't really need to end it with a semicolon. Then this text has a background. Then as usual, close it to slash. Save it. Just refresh your page, and there you see that your uh, text now have a background. Now if you want to know how to do a um. Well, it's just a color to your text, just like you know, just a color like this. Um, P style again, then just color. This one is easy. Colon, and then always put a colon basically. And uh, we're gonna go with uh, yellow in this case. Then close the angle bracket, and then uh, this text has a color. There you go. Um, now refresh your page and well you don't really see it because I chose the wrong color because yellow over white doesn't really um, match up together but you see there is um, thousands of color you just need to google it like just google uh, HTML color list or something and you'll see that you will have like a lot of results yeah and for the colors if you know the RGB color system you can use that too um, we're not going to explain right now how to use that. We may in the future, but yeah, yeah, not for now. 
All right, and uh, and uh, the good thing about HTML is that you can all mix that, like Joe said, like earlier. Just add a semicolon, and then, for example, if you want to go with um, font size, I don't know, then just uh, colon, and then 20 pixels, for example, okay? And then, there you go, you can just do like this, and then it's magic, because now your text is, well, it's bigger. And I, I don't know if you can see it, but it's bigger than before, because I chose the wrong color. In a background color. Yeah, I could do that. All right, I'll just add a background color for your uh, amusement. And on top of this, uh, this shows that you can add three different things. You can add four different things. You can add as many things as you want using the semicolon. Yeah, I'm going to go with black as a background since it's going to be uh, easy to see. Now refresh your page, and now you see that there you go. Now, what's fun with pixels is that you can go to like 50, for example, and it's going to be huge, but it's going to demonstrate. And there you go, now your text is there. Now, uh, thanks for watching us. Um, rate, comment, subscribe if you want. Uh, we're going to make more, uh, more tutorials in the, in the future. Now, thanks for watching.